Done? Hmm? Are you, are you done? Are you done eating here? Oh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I'm lousy company. Just keep hoping that JJ will call, it's all. Jack, I don't think his dad's gonna let that happen. To his dad? Well, it's funny hearing you say that, his dad. I'm his dad, Carly. I know you are. In all the ways that matter, I know you are. I just hope that Les doesn't take him out of state. Listen, I should go over to the courtroom. I want to meet that, that lawyer that Jessica recommended for the hearing. Great. I, I'm, I'm all set. Let's go. Uh, you, uh, you're going to go, then? To, yeah, of to course court? I am. What? Don't you want me to go? You know that I can testify. Remember when Les first came to town? How he, he gave me all those lies about how he had Listen, custody of JJ? Listen, even if everything goes perfectly today and Keith gets custody of JJ, there's no guarantee that Keith will let me see JJ anymore. Because I'm part of the package. Guy thinks you're an accessory to his sister's murder. How would you feel? Right, so if I stay away, then Keith will just somehow forget that I'm your wife. Carly, I just want to make sure that everything no, goes smoothly No, it's fine. I it's completely all... understand. I... Go. Go over to the court, and I will, I'll take care of this, and I'll see you at home later. Okay? Excuse me, sir. Do I know you? I'm your husband. Probably didn't recognize me without my foot in my mouth. It's okay. No, no, it isn't, Carly. I'm sorry. You were just trying to help. That's yes, all. And I mean, yes. I want to. I do want to help. I, I would like to explain to the judge that Les was practically stalking Keith Keith is going to have Holden testify. That should be enough. But Holden can only talk about what happened after Les attacked Julia. Carly. Please. And you know what Les's lawyer is going to do? He's going to try to twist it around and make it seem like Julia attacked Les no, first or he's something. Gonna, I'm not going to believe that. Well, maybe yes or maybe no. But if I testify, I can tell the judge that the attack was planned. Come on. I want to help. Let me help. Jack Snyder, we spoke on the phone. Ah, yes, it's good to put a face to the voice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is my wife, Carly. Hi, how do you Hello. do, Mr. Baldwin? Don't call me Michael. I understand you're the best. Well, I have taken on some custody battles in my time, but it isn't my specialty. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I hope you don't mind me asking. What is my specialty? Winning. Winning is my specialty. That is why you hired me, to win custody of your nephew, huh? Uh, JJ. JJ isn't my nephew. He's, uh, he's my son. Hmm. I'm confused. Jack was briefly married to JJ's mother. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am aware of that. Julia Larrabee, recently deceased. Yeah, and JJ thinks of me as a father. But in her will, Julia gave custody to her brother Keith. Yes, I am to understand that, but what if she hadn't? What are you asking me? What if I wanted JJ? Then you would be at a serious disadvantage. Precedence is always given to blood relatives. Yes, I understand. What about and what was... JJ wants? Honestly, as a minor child, he doesn't have a whole lot of say. But if you're having second thoughts about participating in this case, you no, need to Michael, tell me I want right to go about... through with this. I do. But the bottom line here is what J.J. wants. And Keith, you give J.J. a good home. All right. Then you'll support Mr. Morrissey's bid for custody. Absolutely, yes. Right. Hey, Jack. Thank you. Oh, here he is. Keith, um, this is J.J.'s uncle, Keith Morrissey, and this is my cousin, Holden Snyder. Michael Baldwin. Please, yes. please to meet you. I knew a Baldwin once. He's a wily character. All right. Well, uh, small world. Uh -huh. And, uh, Mr. Snyder, I take it you will be testifying. That's right. You actually witnessed Lester Sweeney attack J.J.'s mother. I did. I can uh, testify, too, about that. Mm. You are currently out on bail, yes? Charged as an accessory in Julie Larrabee's murder? Well, yeah, Then your testifying but... is out of the question. Uh, the judge will be looking out for this child's best interest and... Sorry, but... Your testimony could only hurt us. I think I'm going to stay out here, OK? Baldwin didn't No, he was right. The important thing here is to get JJ away from Les. And I don't want to be the one who messes that up. I love you. Well, I'm glad. Because I know I haven't made it easy lately. Sure, it's a good idea to put JJ on the stand. 
Jason Perry. No, that, that could be a mistake. I mean, he's, he's terrified of Sweeney. Yeah, the kid has a right to be. If he testifies against Les and Les wins, I mean, Les is going to make his life a living hell. Look, it's not only going to be up to me. My guess is that Lester is going to try and push the boy onto the stand. Now, if I don't cross-examine, that'll make us look bad. If I get a chance to ask the boy questions, I'm going to have to take that chance. How you doing? Okay. Yeah, you're good. I know you're scared. Guess what? So am I. Judge is gonna want to hear from you, though, and you just gotta tell her how you feel about your dad. That's all. You be strong, and you tell her the truth. You tell the truth, and this whole thing will be over really fast, okay? Did you, uh, show Jackman here that present I got you? Whip it out, JJ. Let's see it. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's very nice, buddy. That's really, really cool. The judge is ready. Okay, okay. counselor, I'll be right in. Um, I think I'm gonna end this little father go around. When I get custody of JJ, one thing's for sure. You guys ain't ever gonna see him again. Any last requests? Bury him. Let's go. Hiya, JJ. I don't know about you, but all this court stuff has got me pretty nervous. You mind if I sit next to you? Here Coming to up, determine the custody of the minor child, J.J. Larrabee. Mr. Walker, you may start. My client, Mr. Sweeney, is J.J.'s father. Now, his ex-wife, in essence, kidnapped the boy, forcing Mr. Sweeney to search for his son for years. But he never gave up, Your Honor. And Mr. Sweeney has fought for and won custody in more than one jurisdiction, and now, Following his ex-wife's murder, here is her brother, a person with no parental rights seeking custody. How long must Mr. Sweeney wait for justice? How long must he wait to raise his son, who's been kept from him for so long? And Mr. Sweeney's history of incarceration, how does that play into his desire for justice? My client survived a childhood that would make Dickens weep, Your Honor. Now, he's made serious mistakes, but he's renewed his faith while paying his debt to society. If I may, Your Honor, these are police photos of Julia Larrabee beaten to a pulp by the ever-faithful Mr. Sweeney. Objection, we haven't seen these. That is what Mr. Sweeney did to his wife, Your Honor, and that is not the only reason he was sent to jail. But, Your Honor, my client has paid his debt to society. He's been through the system, and he's a changed man because of it. People don't change that quickly. Would you include yourself in that less-than-scientific assessment? Excuse me. I'm asking you if you've changed your ways, Counselor. Relevance, are you or are you not a convicted felon? Answer the question, Counsel. I was convicted of a felony, Your Honor, which has no bearing on this case. Counselor's background is more than relevant, Your Honor. This man is attempting to persecute my client for crimes which are less severe than those he committed himself. Now I'm curious, what were you convicted of, Mr. Baldwin? Your Honor, I was convicted of attempted murder and attempted rape.
Yes, Your Honor, I served my time. Used your time wisely, no doubt. Reformed yourself. My personal background has nothing to do with this case. Except to illustrate what my client has maintained all along. He has fundamentally changed his life. He no longer expresses himself through anger any more than my esteemed colleague rapes and pillages oh, your in honor. his office. Your Honor, Mr. Baldwin's background is immaterial. Your Honor, if I may, my name is Detective Jack Snyder. I'm here with the Oakdale PD. Um, what is your connection to the case? I, Detective Snyder was briefly married to Julia Larrabee. Uh, JJ considers him his father. Oh, man, that's a bunch of bull. You're free to speak. Thank you. <clears throat> Your Honor, I met Julia Larrabee a number of months ago in a hospital after a very serious car accident I had. Most kids grow up scared of monsters under their bed or ghosts in the attic. JJ, JJ went to bed every single night praying that his father would never find him. Objection unsubstantiated. Julia and JJ had a secret code word, champ. And when she called him that, he knew that he needed to cut and run. And that's exactly what he did. He came, he found me. And when I found Julia, Les was strangling her. Julia wanted me to raise JJ, not only because she knew how much I loved him, but she was desperate to keep him away from his biological father. No further questions, Your Honor. You're excused, Mr. Morrissey. Your Honor, I submit a report from Lester Sweeney's parole officer confirming that he has completed all required anger management courses, has been clean and sober for 90 days, and has a job waiting for him back in Texas. In short, Your Honor, he's done everything our system demands to be completely rehabilitated. What was the purpose if he's to be denied his own son? We're going to take a short recess, after which I'll hear from the minor in question. All rise. All right, I'll be right there. I got to head out. Thank OK. You. Thanks a lot. I hope it helps. I'm sorry we were blindsided. How do you think it's going? Despite the few unwelcome references to my past, I think it's a slam dunk. J.J.'s testimony should nail it. Excuse me, Carly, can I talk to my boy for a second? Sure. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, um, boy's been shaken up by all the stuff that's been going on. I just need some private time with him, if you don't mind. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Hey, son. What's wrong? What did you do? Listen to me. You remember what we talked about last night? Yeah? What you're going to do if they call you to the stand and uh, they ask you how, you how you feel about me? You say one thing against me, JJ. I'm going to kill Jack. Mm-hmm. I'll cut his throat. Okay, you understand me, boy? Hmm? Look at me. All right. You love your daddy. Say it. I love my daddy. You love your daddy. Say it. I love my daddy. Okay. All right. JJ? I'm going to ask you some questions, but it's going to be real easy for you because all you have to do is answer as truthfully as you know how. Okay? Do you know why we're here today? To decide who gets to be my dad. That's right. Do you remember living in El Paso with your mom and dad? Tell me what that was like. I love my dad. I want to stay with him forever and ever. He buys me stuff. Me what the hell's going on here, Les? He's Jack, the best. Jack, come on. What'd you say to him outside? Jack. Jack. What'd you say to him outside, Les? Your Honor, Your Honor, he was influencing him with this outside. He was influencing him outside, Jake. You gotta tell him. Jack, you 